when we're going over right now, we are pulling down the strongholds, the lies that we've been taught. We've been taught that Hazel Crystals look like this. Bring it out. You know better, right? But we're trying to get our other brothers to understand to know better. Watch this. We're going to read that in the Bible. Read. <clears throat> the book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 10. Uh -huh. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. John the Revelator said that I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. The Lord's day is the seventh day of the week, which is the Sabbath. Most Hispanics call it Sabbath, right? Read. It heard behind me. He heard behind them. Read. A great voice. A great voice. If somebody was behind you talking real loud, what's going to be your initial reaction? To turn around. So John and Revelator heard a great voice. And once he heard this great voice, there's something he did, which was turned around to see what it was. Watch this, read. As of a trumpet, this say it. This was as equivalent as a trumpet. That's how loud it was. Read. Say it. I am Alpha and Omega. Say, I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. Right? Read. The first and the last. The first and the last. Read. And what thou seest. He said what? And what thou seest. He said what thou seest. When he turned around, he said, now. When thou seest. Read. Write in a book. He said, write it in the book. Record it. Document it in a book. This is the book that it was documented in, the Bible. Read. And send it unto the seven churches. Send it unto the seven churches. Jump down to verse 14. Verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. For the record, Jesus Christos, his head and his hairs were white like wool. Not stringy, not straight. So which one of these depictions have white, woolly hair? Is it this one or this one? Which one is it? This one. It's not hard, right? Read on. As white as snow. As white as snow. Does he have white hair? No. So that's two X's. This one fits in the picture. Read on. In his eyes. His what? In his eyes. His eyes. Were as a flame of fire. His eyes were as a flame of fire because the first miracle that Christ performed was turning water into into wine. So the whites of his eyes turned red. Why? Because Christ drank wine in moderation. Just like if you drink wine in moderation, the whites of your eyes are gonna turn red. Let's go. In his feet. His what? In his feet. His feet. In his feet. Because during the time of John the Revelator walking the earth, the prophets walked around with open toe sandals. Right. Right. You was able to see their feet. So when John the Revelator turned around, he looked down from, his, from head to toe and noticed that his feet was what? Like a divine brass. Like a divine brass. Brass. What color is brass? Brown. Brown. Now, read. As if they burn in a furnace. As what? As if they burn in a furnace. So if you take something that's already brown and you burn it, burn it in a furnace, what color would it be then? Black. Black. Negro. Teacher. So according to the Bible, Jesus the Christ is a black man. That's right. All right? I know it's hard, but I understand that. Now, let's get some more facts. You mean since we're in the book of Revelation, let's get Revelation 2 and 9. We're going to reveal who are the real Jews and who are the fake Jews. All right? Read what you got. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 9. Uh -huh. I know that. For the, word, for, the, for the record, the root word of Revelation is what? Reveal. That's it. What does it mean to reveal something? To expose. To expose. To show. To make known. To be clear up, watch this. Call it a read. The book of Revelation, uh -huh. chapter 2, verse 9. Watch this. It's I know thy works. I know thy works. Christ said, I know thy works. He's talking about the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. He said, he know our profession. He know what we do, whether you're a carpenter, whether you're a plumber, a firefighter, whether you're going through hard times. He knows your works. Read. In tribulation. In tribulation, trouble. You know the troubles that you face on a day-to-day -day basis. 
He knows it's hard for the so-called black. He knows it's hard for the so-called Hispanics and Asians. He knows our tribulation. Read on. In poverty! In what? In poverty! He also knows that the so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Indians are going to be in the ghetto. Right. The slum. Right. All right? Poverty. Poverty, meaning the bottom of society. We're not growing in the Gold Coast. We're not downtown Chicago. Where we at? Right here in the hood of poverty. Right. When you see broken bottles and pissy holes. Bring it out. Busted condoms. Right. You know what I'm saying? We in poverty. Read. But thou art rich. But he also called us rich. Why? Because to our forefather Abraham, he promised the kingdom. And we also was pr promised that inheritance as well. Right. Read what you got. And I know the blasphemy. And I also know the blasphemy. I feel which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Read that again. He said, I know what? I know the blasphemy. I know the lies. Blasphemy means lies. I know the lies of who? We say they are Jews. I know the lies of those who say they are Jews. And are not. Now who are the ones walking the earth today to us? They the Jewish people. Say it out loud. The so-called white man. Right. They the one calling themselves Jews. But the Bible says what? They are not. They are not the real Jews. If you get a, if you find the dictionary dated 1700 and look up the word ghetto, it would describe it says a place where the Jews resort. Who are the ghetto today? The real Jews. Right. Read on. But are the synagogue of Satan. The ones that's walking around claiming to be the real Jews are the synagogues of Satan. They the devil that the Bible speaks of. Give me that again in Revelation chapter 3 and verse 9. The book of Revelation chapter 3 verse 9. We're going to stay in the book of Revelation today for a little, for a little bit because we're revealing the truth. Who's who? Who's what? What's false and what's real? Read what you got. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan. He said, behold, I'm going to make the so-called white man, the devils that the Bible speak of, the, so, the fake Jews, the synagogues of Satan, do what? We say they are Jews. Who is the claim to be Jews? Read. And are not. They are not. But do lie. But they do what? But do lie. All they do is lie. That's all they do is lie. In fact, you mean that precept, hold that. In the book of Psalms, when they first come out the womb, they lie. They are strange. They all they do is lie. We're gonna prove that with the fire. Precept must be above precept. I want you, okay, I'll hit his last scripture, hit his last scripture. Watch this. I'm gonna prove that they are liars. This man right here, he's a liar. This is actually Caesar Borgia. He's the son of the sixth pope. Alright? He was an actual pedophile. He slept with his own sister, by the way. Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 58, verse 3. Read. The wicked are estranged from the womb. The wicked, the so-called white man, that's the wicked on earth. They are estranged from the womb. The moment they are born, watch this, read. They go astray as soon as they be born. They go astray as soon as they be born. If you remember history, when Jacob and Esau was born, Esau went off and married a damn Hamite. His father and mother was not pleased with that. Soon they come the womb, they go astray. Read on. Speaking lies. Speaking nothing but lies. Nothing but lies. They told us that we was African American. Right. That don't make sense because African is the name of a white man. So is America. America Vespucci is a Spanish explorer. Leo, Leo Scipius Africanus is an Italian Jew. Can two white men produce black people? No. They lie about them. We lie African Americans. Read. I'm going to go back to Revelation. Sorry. The book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 9. Uh -huh. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. No, not. But do lie. Do lie. Read. Behold, I will make him to come and worship before thy feet. He said what? And worship before thy feet. That's prophecy. There's going to come a time 
where the so-called white man got to come and worship us. They got to bow to our feet. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.